Hi guys! So it's been a week since I've added the uh, Glow Light Tetras to my tank. So I'm just going to give a quick update on how they are, uh, how they have been adjusting to my tank, and hopefully I can catch them, uh, you know, swimming around, displaying their natural behavior. And All right. So here we are in front of the tank, um, looking at the Glow Light Tetras swimming around in the water. So. Uh, these glow light tetras are actually from South America. Um, they are in the water or the aquarium trade since 1933. They are one of the first few uh, freshwater uh, species to be traded in the freshwater trade. So, um, I would say they are, as a species, they are pretty, uh, pretty strong. Been around uh, almost or as long as the neon tetras although they are not as colorful but they do have um, very interesting behavior and uh, and also the uh, the red line across the back is quite interesting um, so in the one week or uh, since adding them to my tank I noticed that they are um, they are top feeders they have very good eyesight compared to my amber tetras and uh, the cardinals um, they are also very nimble and um, since they swim so fast they, most of the time they will finish up the uh, the food that I feed before it reaches the, the cardinals because the cardinals tend to stay uh, in the middle of the water column whereas the the, uh, the, the glow light will go up to the surface to feed um, so you can see they like to so in my tank they like to stay in the the left the left one third of the tank where um, I have some pretty low uh, vegetation to help uh, promote some water flow from the small little filter at the side um, and also because it's uh, pretty low so that's where uh, most of the streamlets and the, the little young streams will tend to hide and stay uh, so this is where the, the fish will tend to hover around and hope to catch a stray shrimp or two. Um, yeah, so what I have in my tank, right, I have three wild caught cardinals, um, five amber tetras, and um, seven glow light. And um, I think I've got 12 chili resboras. So um, yeah, I think my tank is pretty full of fish at this point of time um, so as um, I find that these glow, glow light tetras they, they work very well as a uh, dilter fish because um, before I added them although my amber tetras tend to swim out in the open um, my, my cardinals tend to stay in the, in the background or in the vegetation um, so I find that you know, maybe it is a bit stressful for them. Um, yeah. So now that I've added these glow light tetras, they tend to, so they, they, they do help to draw out the cardinals more often. And um, yeah, I find that, you know, uh, looks like the cardinals are more comfortable with uh, the larger amount of fishes swimming around. All right. Um, so um, I I noticed that these cardinals or sorry these glow light tetras, their their eyesight uh, is pretty sharp and good, uh, in comparison to um, the cardinal tetras, because uh, they can spot the striplet from right across the um, the tank. My tank is uh, forty five cm in length, so okay. Maybe it is a little uh, small, so yeah, the, it's, it's natural for them to to be able to spot the striplet from right across the other side. But um, but I find that the, the the cardinals they tend to to wait for the versus the glow light they will go for it. So you see a striplet from afar, the cardinals will just uh, oh, it's too far. I'll just I'll just be here 
Whereas like in the glow light, you will go for it. You will say, oh, there's a stream plot over there. Go for it. And I, I, I do tend to find that the glow lights are big eaters. They are always hungry. Um, so there's a tendency for uh, for anyone to overfeed. Uh, so um, I tend to be very careful in my feeding uh, volume, how much I feed them. Um, Hmm. I do apologize for the background noise. Um, it's raining outside, and so uh, the, the the road noises are a little bit louder due to the uh, wet surface. Some of you might have wondered why are there so little um, cherry streams in the front of the tank compared to my past videos. Uh, that's actually because I've just thrown in some algae refills at the back of the tank. Um, so they are all crowding around the algae refills. Uh, the reason why I, I threw the, the wafers at the back of the tank is so that uh, they, can, they can eat in peace and uh, safely among the vegetation away from uh away from the streams uh sorry away from the you know the watchful eyes of the tetras so what i have now is probably about 20 to 30 uh, fishes swimming around looking for you know, a juicy meal So there are some uh, some reports online saying that uh, you no know, glow lights are you know, a bad or bad tank mates for for shrimps. I find that um, they generally do leave the adult uh, adult adult shrimps and the uh, and the young adults those you know, uh, probably three weeks old onwards. Um, yeah, so the, the the old rule that says you know. Um, they will go for any shrimps that they can fit into their mouth. All you need to do is to provide um, good cover, thick vegetation, and the shrimps will be safe. So I find this to be to be generally true. Um, previously, when I first added the fishes, they like to swim among the vegetation. I think it's to explore uh, the tank. But now they, they tend to swim in the open with all the other uh, tetras and resboras. I, I think maybe you know, hunting for shrimplets is, is too much work. You know, waiting for a pellet and it's, it's much easier. Or maybe they are full. Okay, right. So um, that's it for my one week update of the Twilight Tetras. They are getting used to to my tank, and I find them to be a very good addition to my to my uh, group of community fishes. Right. So see you in the next one. I'll stop the video over here.